Welcome to today's session. Today is going to be focused purely on getting you some mobility back into your body. So, if you're like the majority of people, you wake up a little bit stiff, a little bit sore, maybe things feel a little bit locked up. What I'm going to present to you here today, and hopefully you can follow along with me, is a really nice, simple routine that you can do when you wake up in the mornings or even before you go to bed at night. We're going to cover over the major areas of the body where most people do get a little bit stiff, whether it's from our daily work, our daily movement, or whether it's from training. So I'm going to start off with our hips. Okay, the sort of common areas where a lot of us get tight in the hips is through this front area, through here, and sort of through the glutes area, okay? So I'm gonna start off with a really simple one, which is our groin up position. So with the groin up position, I'm coming down to the ground. I'm gonna keep this back knee on the ground because it's the first movement of the day. And all I'm doing is dropping my hands to the floor and trying to draw this knee forward. I'm going to hold this here for one minute now. The whole time we want to be focusing on exhaling, not holding our breath. And ideally, it's a little more of a belly breath potentially a little more of a nasal breath. This is going to mean we're staying in what's called a little more of a parasympathetic state, which is our state, our autonomic nervous system state, that helps promote recovery. So I'm just playing around here. You could take that back knee off the ground. Deeper. From there, we'll swap sides. Just notice if you feel better on one side than the other. Playing around here. So I'm hitting my back hip here, I'm hitting my groin, my adductor muscles. I can hit a little bit of my calf and ankle here on this front ankle. So this is a really simple, easy one. The more advanced version of this would be the cat stretch, the one on the wall. Here I'm going straight into my cat cow. So I want hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And I'm trying to round my back, chin tucked, and then open up. So this is really freeing up my middle, my lower, even my upper back, which invariably gets quite stiff. I'm sitting a lot. So going back to the hips now, we're going to do what's called a 90-90 stretch. I love this one because we get what's called some external rotation on one hip and some internal rotation on the other. Okay, that's just how our thigh bone is interacting in our hip joint. So, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Ideally, arms are out in front. 
We're going to hold this position. You can go hands behind you if you need to. And from here, I'm going to start picking this leg up. Pick it up, pick it up, as high as I can. Once I can't pick it up anymore, this other leg follows. And I move across. I'm trying to stay central so I'm not folding over to one side. And other side. Here I'm going to go into a thread the needle. So this is for my back again, mostly for what's called my thoracic back, up through here. And if we can get some more range of movement there, it invariably takes off some load off our lower back. Because if we can move more there, we will, and we won't be compensating for that lower back. So I'm going to go hips to the wall, hand on my head. And I'm going to sweep through one side and open up. I'm keeping my hips on the wall. So I'm only rotating through the upper back. Turn around to the other side. Hips to the wall. Hands on each shoulder. Hands on my head. Rotate one way. Second last one is just a squat hold. So, ideally, feet are close together, toes are pointed forward, and we're sitting down and holding that position. If that is a struggle for you, I want you to hold on to a wall or to a table or something like that. Just got some rings, and feet wider is also going to be easier. And so, this is easier. Harder, hands off. Just make it harder again, feet it closer. And we're just sitting down there and chilling down there. You can shove these arms inside the knees, drive those knees out a little bit. If you really feel like you're going to fall backwards in that position, a little bit of counterweight here, so holding onto something, or wedge something underneath the heels, like a book and that will help you. And then just spending more time down here is also definitely going to help you. And the last one that we're going to work on today is our shoulder extension. I really love this one because it's so visibly the opposite of where we spend most of our time. Instead of this, slouch forward, hands forward, everything closed off. We're taking our hands behind us. And then from there, I'm going to work by pulling those hips out, pushing those hips out, and open up that chest to the room. If you want to make it harder, you can go hips up.
slowly come out of that one. So, that's all we're doing here today. The secret to this is not just doing it once and not doing a really big mobility routine once per week, but the secret is in doing something small like this every single day. I came up with a routine back in probably 2014 that I would do upon waking. It's changed a lot since then. Some days I spend more time on it, sometimes I spend less. But there's always an element of going through some of these movements, maybe some different movements. And it's enough to keep me supple in everyday life. And that once I get to the bar for training, I don't really feel like I need too much of a warm up. I'm already always pretty ready to go in terms of the range of movement that I have access to. So hopefully that helps. But like I said, the biggest uh, favor to me is not just doing this once, but it's doing something like this every single day. And trust me, that will also be a favor to you.